in our four week fit in 15 program. Today's workout is a yoga fusion workout. So what that is, is a combination of some yoga postures, which are stretching and strengthening moves combined with some functional training, some stability movement and some strength movement. It's a great blend uh, for a recovery workout um, on a day when maybe you've done something really tough the day before, but you still want to engage all those deep core muscles, your glute muscles, this is the place. It is a 15 minute workout. We have 15 moves. We're not going to repeat any of them other than on the right and the left side. Each um, exercise will do for 54 seconds and we'll have six seconds to move into the next pose or the next exercise. So in the sense that it's timed, it isn't a traditional yoga flow. If you are looking for a yoga flow, I have plenty of amazing yoga flows on my channel. I've linked the playlist up here and I will link the playlist in the descriptions below. You don't need anything, no shoes, no equipment other than a mat. You're definitely going to want a mat and music. If you enjoy playing music, go ahead and get your mat, get your music started. And you're going to meet me on the mat here in this pose that I'm in, which is hero's pose, a kneeling pose. Okay. I'm going to hit the timer. We're all in hero's pose. You can kind of move your buns side to side. And on an inhale breath, we're going to bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the palms to shoulder height and pull your shoulders back into their sockets. Inhale, open the thumbs wide, hold the shoulder blades together. And on an exhale, the left hand is going to come down to the mat and the right hand is going to stretch up and over as you press your hips over towards the right. Come back up, thumbs facing up, opening the chest. Bring the palms in towards one another, shoulder blades back. Inhale, fingertips up, and let's do that one more time. Exhale, palms shoulder height. Inhale, open the thumbs, and exhale, side body stretch. Up and over, right fingers reaching towards the left. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing and flow in the opposite direction. So on an inhale breath, Arms overhead, pinkies in, thumbs out. Exhale, bring the palms down to shoulder height, engage the core, hug the shoulder blades back. Inhale, big opening of the chest, thumbs up. Exhale, right palm to the mat. Left hand reaches up and over into that side body stretch. Pull the thumb back, bump the hips to the left. Inhale, thumbs out, shoulder blades in. Exhale, palms face one another, shoulder height. Inhale, fingertips overhead. Exhale, palms shoulder height, shoulders down and back in their sockets. Inhale, open up the thumbs and then exhale, side body stretch and we'll hold this one. All right, we're gonna come on to our backs for an eagle crunch. So, Right leg over left, right arm under left. Fingertips and toes touch the mat on an inhale. And on an exhale, we crunch elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen as far as you can while still keeping that low back to the mat. Exhale, head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, elbows and knees together. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. So not only working into our deep core, but our obliques as well, and getting an awesome stretch in our hips and our shoulders. You can always bring your hands behind your head if it's too much to wrap the elbows and the wrists. All right, unwrap, kind of shake it out. And then we're gonna go to left side. So left leg over right, left arm under the right. Exhale, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Knees and elbows come together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. 
and really focus on keeping that low back flat on the mat. And this is slow and controlled. into a downward facing dog. So come into a tabletop and then lift your hips up and back. Ground the left foot, lift the right leg, and on an exhale come into a plank. Knee to nose. This is called tiger pose and we're just going to flow. Inhale three-legged dog, right heel lifts. Exhale right knee to nose, tiger pose. Inhale right leg lifts. To hip height. Exhale, shift forward into a plank, knee to nose, and just flow. In that downward facing dog, think about pressing the mat forward and away from you. So good for our core, for our upper body. Strengthening that left leg. Okay, now we're going to step the right foot through, coming into warrior two. Spin the back foot flat, heel to arch alignment. Bring the arms up overhead, palms facing forward. Isometrically, we're going to hold the legs and we're going to pull the elbows down into the side, strengthening the upper back and strengthening the legs. So in that warrior two, we want to think about like scrunching that mat together with our feet. Like we're pulling that front heel back and the back foot forward. Press into the pinky edge of that right foot to keep the knee open and press into the pinky edge of the back foot to really strengthen that leg. So your legs and arms should be shaking. Okay, we're gonna come into a lateral squat on the right. So pivot so that all 10 toes face the right side. If you wanna add a little bit extra, you're gonna bring your hands behind your head and you're gonna twist that left elbow towards your right knee as you sit down into that imaginary chair. Focus on firing up the right glute and stretching the left inner thigh. So squeeze the right glute to come up and if you're twisting really think about that right side body pulling you back up. Okay, now we're gonna come into Eagle Pose. So we did it on our backs. Right leg is the grounding leg. We're gonna wrap the left over the right. You're either gonna kickstand the toes or hook them behind your um, right leg. And then the left arm is gonna come underneath the right. Pull your elbows up, shoulder height. Woo, I'm shaking side to side. That is perfectly fine and then pull those elbows out in front of your shoulders. So opening up the back of the shoulders, opening up the hips as we strengthen the hips. So we're stretching the left, strengthening the right here. Right glute is definitely speaking to me after that warrior two and the side lunge on the right, the side squat on the right. Find that focus point. All right, so now we're going to come into downward facing dog <clears throat> and it's the left leg that's going to lift and then shift knee to nose, tiger pose. Left leg lifts up and back, knee to nose, tiger pose, 
left leg up and back. Flowing with your breath. Inhaling to lift the leg up and back. And exhaling to pull the knee in towards the nose. on the left. Left heel intersects the right arch. 90 degree bend in the left knee. Right leg straight, opening the fronts of the hips. Bring your palms shoulder height and then we're going to row the elbows back as we hug the shoulder blades together. So really squeezing the upper back, working the delts, working into the lats a bit. And then this low body is just super fired up here. Okay, now we're gonna come into those lateral lunges, lateral squats on the left. So sitting into the left side, pressing into the heel to come up. If you want, fingertips behind the head, right elbow, crunches towards the left knee. But keep your chest elevated the entire time. Core is working, glute is working. Inhaling as you lower and exhaling as you lift. We're going to come into that eagle pose on the left. So come all the way back through center and then ground your left foot. Wrap the right over the left, either kickstand or wrap the toes and then right arm underneath the left. Pressing at the elbows, pressing at the wrists, pressing the palms together. Shoulder blades down the back and then pull the elbows forward to really open up that upper back. Finding that focus point, really hugging the outer glutes in. Imagine your back is up against the wall, your core is turned on. And then allowing yourself to feel some comfort here in this uncomfortable position. Okay, unwrap. We're going to come down into a Malasana squat. So a very deep squat. You can point your toes out. You can bring your elbows to the insides of your knees and press elbows against knees, knees against elbows to really open up those hips. If it feels good, you can do a twist, pressing the right tricep against the inner right leg as you open up the left arm and then switching it out. So good, so good to be down in this position. Ankle mobility. You can also kind of rock your hips side to side if that feels good. All right, we're gonna come into a little flow from a high plank to a downward facing dog and we're gonna tap opposite palm to opposite toes. Plank, hips up and back, Left hand to right toes, plank, hips up and back, right hand 
to left toes. And if the reach is too much, just focus on using your core to lift your hips up and back and keep both palms planted on the mat. So we have one move after this, and it's going to be such a feel-good posture. Not that this doesn't feel good. It feels great to me, actually. My hamstrings are opening up. Twisting is so good for us. All right, final posture is ragdoll. I want you to bring your feet hip width distance apart, super deep bend in the knees, and bring opposite pinky to the crook or the eye of the opposite elbow, and just sway side to side. So, too often we hear straighten your legs and come into a forward fold. So if you're super flexible, and you can touch your toes with your legs straight, that's fantastic. If you're not, that's fantastic too. Keep a deep bend in your knees. You will still feel a stretch in your hamstrings and it will save your low back so much tension. If you're really tight and you force those legs straight, you're not doing yourself any favors. You're letting your ego take over because you think in your mind the posture has to look a certain way when in reality, it's about how it feels. All right, slowly roll up to stand. Activity completed. And that is the conclusion of our Fit in 15 four week challenge, friends. Thank you so much for spending your time working out with me. I appreciate it. I hope that you learned something new from the 16, or no, 12 workouts, three workouts, four weeks. It was designed to introduce some new movements, to get us moving in ways that we don't typically move, but that are so vital for not only everyday life, but for any workouts that we do as well. I would love to hear your thoughts about the program. I would love to hear requests for anything in the future. Drop me a note in the comments below, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you back here soon.